basically, it's, this is the wash area, right? Just get the washing down a little bit. So have, you, have you saved that for me, Ria? Yeah? I'm being told we're going to be busy, so let's get to it. Since the decline in revenue, manager Phil has struggled to make ends meet. Although three chefs should be on shift, there's often just one, and the full-time pot washer is now part-time. It's a good start, isn't it? Come and be a chef and start by washing up. I mean, obviously, in most kitchens, you wouldn't be doing this just because... I was going to say, I didn't think chefs did washing up. Generally don't, but fortunately, it's just a recession and people are not hiring, so we have to do what we can, you know. It's mid-afternoon. Wayne's asked David to help prepare the food for tonight's diners. I'm going to get you to, to make a soup. So if you could work in a normal kitchen, you wouldn't be doing soups and stuff like that. Because there's only two of us, just help us out a little bit, you know? Okay. okay. So how many hours did you do last week? I'm contracted to do 40, but I've done 40 over 40 plus overtime. Totally about 80 hours, you know? 80 hours? Yeah. Do you get paid extra for that? No. You know, most places are not paying um, overtime anymore. <laughs> Doesn't seem a good deal to me. Oh, it's going to do more washing out now. I mean, I know everyone does long hours uh, in this business, but I think 80 hours is crazy. Bloody nonsense. You shouldn't uh, take advantage of people. I want you done in half an hour, cos I've got a lot, a lot of prep to do, OK? But it's not just the long hours Wayne has to contend with. The lack of profits means there's no money to invest in kitchen equipment. Shouldn't there be a handle on this? Yeah, it's just come off. Just put it down, so I just put it down and do it, yeah. You're not getting new equipment. We try and use what we got, you know. We're down to one oven at the moment, because the other one oven doesn't work anymore. So you're working long hours, but your equipment's a bit knackered. We just get on with it, we just do our best, you know. How, how can a chef be expected to cook when he hasn't got ovens that work? I mean, this is not rocket science, it's basic. Yes, if the uh, equipment's not there, you know, the staff won't do it with pride and the quality will go down. Fact. Do you ever see the owners here? No, I haven't seen him. You never, you never see the owners? No, I haven't seen him. Do you feel appreciated? Mm, sometimes, not often, you know. When was the last time someone said thank you? No. Uh, a long time, you know, long time. It's common sense. If you owned a hotel, would you not want to talk to the, your staff that you employ? These owners are not actively involved in the running of this business. And I think that could be the problem. I spent two days in this hotel, Wayne, uh, and I left feeling a complete lack of pride in that hotel being in Best Western. The great thing we have got is your passion and your hard work, despite the fact that you haven't got the resources, you're still delivering something the customer wants. And that's inspiring. Thank you. Thanks, that's nice. Our investment is in the business and it will need that passion from you. You have that within you, so we would like you to go on a cookie course at our expense to inspire you and to do even more. That would be nice, you know what I mean? Because I, I, I do agree, I do think that restaurant is dynamite if it's done properly. I'd like to shake your hand. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers. God, he's a shock, you know what I mean? I can't believe he's the chief of uh, Best Western. I'm bossing him around, telling him off. But someone like him behind us, I think we can do well. We can take on the world. Mm -hmm.